The cosine rule is a trigonometry formula that relates the sides and angles of a triangle. It can be used to solve a triangle if we know either the sides of the triangle and the angle enclosed between those sides, or three sides but none of the angles. The rule applies to any triangle, not just right angle triangles. For other cases, you can use the sine rule. There is a link to a video about the sine rule in the description below. It is very important to label the triangle correctly, otherwise the cosine rule formula won't work. This was covered in the sine rule video, but we will quickly repeat it here because it is important. We normally label the angles of the triangle as capital A, B and C. We label the sides as lowercase a, b and c. It is important that each side is opposite the angle with the same name. Side A is opposite angle A, B is opposite B, and C is opposite C. The cosine rule gives us a formula that relates the side A to the other sides B and C and the opposite angle A. It says that A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cosine of A. We will look at a couple of ways to use this formula in different situations. If we know the two sides B and C and the enclosed angle A, we can find the third side A. The previous equation allows us to calculate a squared from the known sides and angle. If we take the square root of both sides, we find a. Here is the equation. Now that we know three sides and one angle, we can use the sine rule if we want to find the other angles. If we know three sides, a, b and c, we can find the angle a. We need to rearrange the formula to find cosine a. Here is the standard formula. Here it is rearranged. If we know cosine a, we can use the calculator inverse cosine function to find a. In the case where we know two sides and an angle, but the angle isn't enclosed, we can't solve the triangle. It is interesting to understand why this is. In this case, we know angle A and sides A and B, but we want to find side C. Angle A is not enclosed by sides A and B. Why isn't this possible? The problem here is that geometrically, there are two possible solutions. This triangle has angle A and two sides A and B, but this triangle also has angle A and two sides A and B. There are two ways to place side A to make the triangle, so there are two possible values for side C. We need more information to know which one is correct. What about the cosine rule? What does that tell us? Here is the original equation. If we rearrange it, we can see it is a quadratic equation in C. It has a squared term C squared. It has a term in C minus 2b cos a times c, and it has a constant term, b squared minus a squared. A quadratic equation usually has two solutions, so again there are two possible values for c. The geometry and the equation both tell us that side c can have either of two different lengths. It is also interesting to see what happens when angle a is 90 degrees. Here is the cosine rule equation. We know that the cosine of 90 degrees is zero. So when a is 90 degrees, the equation becomes a squared equals b squared plus c squared, which is the Pythagoras equation with our hypotenuse of a. So we can think of the cosine rule as an extension of Pythagoras theorem to cover all triangles, not just right angled triangles. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or visit graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.